guess what I'm gonna always find. A good latte. Ooh, a lavender. Bananas and pajamas. I've chosen correctly. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru lifestyle content creator. I realize it has been a while since I have done a vlog style video, especially traveling, and I'm really excited to share this one. This one's a little bit more personal, and that is going to visit my dad in Baltimore, Maryland. A quick little history because I feel like this is something I've shared a lot more, I would say, on Instagram and my blog if you've been following me for some years, but I really haven't done a good job of sharing here on YouTube and and so we're gonna fix that. A little JB history for you, things you actually might not know. My parents have been divorced since I was in college, so somewhere around 2009, 2010, and my mom still lives in Wisconsin and my dad moved out to Maryland, I would say, shortly after I graduated college, maybe like 2014, 2015, to be near family in the area. And when he first moved, honestly, like, he and I didn't spend as much time together as I really would hope. He really got stuck in work and things like that. And I didn't really do a good job of like making an effort to go and visit. So when I realized that my job gave me not only Good Friday off, but then the Monday off after Easter, I decided that that was going to be the holiday. I would go out and hang out with my dad and go hang out in Maryland. And the cool thing about Maryland, I feel like a lot of people don't think about it as a travel destination. But honestly, there are so many things that you can do not only in Maryland but close by like the DC area depending where you want to check out is like an hour hour and a half drive tons of things to see and also if you want to do a cool day trip to Philly get a cheesesteak which yes we have done that's like a two hour drive so a really cool day trip there are tons tons there is literally so many things to do in Baltimore I'm surprised that every time I go visit because like I said I've been doing this since about 2015 2016 like me and my dad still find tons of really cool stuff to do so i thought i would share that with you vlog style so you'll get to see a little bit more of casual j you'll get to see a lot of baltimore maryland as well as my dad and see where a lot of this personality comes from because even though he's an introvert my dad is equally if not a little bit more goofy than i am which i really really love and the other thing i really like about visiting my dad around easter is it's usually so cold and so miserable here in michigan and i'm just ready for spring and baltimore is always like 10 to 20 degrees warmer and i really love being there, getting a fresh perspective. And I also really love spending time with my dad. If you have not seen my Iceland vlog, I got the chance to take him to Iceland, which was such a great bonding experience. And if you want to find a way to kind of be closer with your parents, honestly, planning a trip with just one parent, I couldn't recommend that enough. Honestly, it definitely has brought me closer with both of my parents. Not that we weren't close already, but it's such... It's such a fun and unique experience and you really get to learn about them individually, not just them as a unit. You know what I mean? And what I love about spending time with my dad is he's always kind of been like my guiding rock. My real ones know like my dad truly is a mentor to me. So I love talking to him and getting his perspective, especially, especially about what I should do here with the content creator space. So I really, really needed that because I actually have, I actually have a really big announcement, but that's going to be for another day. So let's go ahead and just get into the vlog. Since I get Good Friday off, I usually will fly down to my dad's on Thursday night and I try to make sure that I land at a time that doesn't interfere with his work schedule, but I always make sure to land early enough that he can take me to one of my favorite places. Unfortunately, the H Mart in Laurel that we like to go to closed their like poke spot. So my dad took me to Kava instead and I don't care if this makes me a basic girl because I love Kava and I'm so sad because we don't have one in Metro Detroit. So every time I get the chance, I make sure that my dad takes me to Kava at least once. So so we enjoyed dinner there, made a quick run to Target because I forgot my laptop charger, and headed home to binge watch Schmigadoon. Good Friday, my dad usually works, so it is on me to kind of entertain myself, and I found out I got the wrong charger for my laptop. So I really quickly got dressed. This is what I decided to wear because I was meeting up with a friend later to hang out in Fells Point, and it was a little bit chilly. I will say I'm sad. Usually it's around 60, 70, but it was about 50 this day, so... I ran really quickly to Target and then down to Annapolis because that was the closest place that there was an Apple store so I could buy the right charger. And of course there happened to be a Zara so I stopped inside to peek around because, I mean, how can you not? I didn't end up buying anything but there were a couple of pieces that definitely caught my eye. But I really was hungry and wanting some coffee so I ran across the street to this place called The Big Bean. While it looks very unassuming, the lattes were delicious and I do not play about my lattes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love me a good, pricey, fancy latte. Like, 
yes, I will drive 20 minutes for a good latte. And again, latte, not coffee, because I'm not a coffee drinker, but a latte. And I also grabbed a really delicious breakfast sandwich because I was super hungry and hopped on the phone with my mom just to catch up with her because it had been a while before I headed over to Fells Point. If you've not been to Fells Point, it's such a fun area to check out in Baltimore and it's near the main harbor as well. There is just tons to do. I will say that Fells Point is definitely full of smaller shops and boutiques, so there's a lot more shopping and I would say local things to do in Fells Point versus the main harbor where there's all kinds of more touristy things like that. So if you want to spend a whole day, honestly, both harbors could take up the whole day, but me and my friend were meeting at Bar Cocina, so... I just stayed in Fells Point and checked out some of the local stores before heading over there. It was really delicious. I had never been here before and it's right on the harbor so it's super cute. If you're looking for some good Mexican bites and after that we ended up going over to the coffee shop on the other side of the pier. I really love this coffee shop. I will say it's super cute, super aesthetic. I love the windows, perfect for dog watching. I will say I'm not as impressed with their lattes if I'm 100% honest but I would say that it's definitely a spot worth checking out because it is really, really cute. I have not done Pilates in a while, but uh, who is it? Lori Harvey came out and said that that's what she do. So all the hoes are like, I'm a Pilates bitch now. <laughs> one of my other things that I feel like I always have to do in Fells Point is stop in Insomnia Cookies. We had one of these at Purdue and every time I would get a little bit too faded, a little too much to drink, I had to stop at Insomnia Cookies and get me a peanut butter cookie and an M&M cookie and... Things just have not changed, so I always, for nostalgia's sake, will stop inside of Insomnia Cookie. Because we were just really enjoying the day and wanted to check out the nightlife since I usually hang out with my dad and he goes to bed at 8 o'clock, no joke, maybe 9 and that is pushing it, me and my friend decided to check out the Anger Bar and it was so cute in here, I absolutely would recommend. They have blues music playing and the really cool thing was they actually made you your own personalized cocktail. They didn't have a menu. You told the bartender the spirit that you were looking for and the flavors you were looking for and he made a drink just for you and it was so delicious. It was definitely a really great afternoon in Fells Point. Hopefully you're enjoying seeing Baltimore, getting to see my outfits, especially for a more of a city vacation, as well as a little bit more of me being me. So if you're liking the vlog style videos and want to see more of this, just do me a quick favor, hit the like button. That helps this video get even more reach and it lets me know I should make more of these videos for you. Usually my dad and I will work out on Saturday morning, but your girl was out a little late and he got up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym and I just could not. So he was really thoughtful and brought me back a waffle with strawberries from his favorite place, which I always, always enjoy. And we just had a good morning chat, danced around the house before heading to National Harbor over in D.C. There it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Do what you gotta. Gotta do it. Yep. Mm-hmm. There go. All right. Oh. You look like you've been shot, Tanya. <laughs> and I have never been in this area before, but it is, it is so cute. And there was tons to do. We, of course, got on the Ferris wheel because I feel like how can you go and not? And I feel like I never actually get on the Ferris wheels whenever I go to places that have them. So this was a really fun experience. Getting to be up there, seeing the views. And the harbor just had a lot to offer. So we stopped at Mason's to get lobster rolls. I've never had one and I understand now all the hype that they get. Lobster rolls are absolutely delicious. This was a game-changing sandwich. I just can't even get over how good this lobster roll was. Like, oh, uh, delicious. I will be back just for the lobster roll alone. But the other cool thing about National Harbor was there was a lot of Black-owned businesses and Black art in the area. So we checked out this paint and sip place called Muse. Unfortunately, 
we missed out on getting reservations and it was packed it was so cool like there was literally two sides and they were full I mean full of people doing paint and sip and it was so cute and it was so fun and the vibes and the music definitely a time and worth checking out if you are in the area we then checked out artist nation which was really cool because it was a lot of local artists and a pop-up shop so there were so many cool pieces that you could get or you could talk to the local artists and actually get pieces commissioned and it was such a unique experience i feel like i want to see more of this especially in detroit because i know we have so many amazing artists it would be cool to have something like this readily available after that we stopped in mahogany books for some delicious coffee and when i tell you this place is a vibe, black owned, black writers, black books only. Yeah, game changer. This would be a place that I would literally drive my little self to, even though it was an hour away from my dad's house, to go grab a coffee and spend the day. Like, I just love the vibes in here. And there were so many amazing books and, of course, authors I had never heard of. So I love going to places like this because I like to expand my mind. I love to see different artists, no matter their race and things like that. I just love to get introduced to new things and this was really really cool for me and of course the latte was delicious then before we left the area we were really set on this indian restaurant just up the way to get food to go and a girl recognized me off of tiktok can i tell you how wild that is not only like visiting my dad in baltimore so literally miles away from detroit but then to be in another state outside of where my dad lives and someone comes up to you and goes hey you're an influencer on tiktok aren't you like she made my whole day. This is her TikTok. Please show her love if you are on TikTok or on Instagram. I literally love these moments when I get to meet you guys in real life. It just keeps me fueled and reminds me what I do it for. You know, my goal is to inspire you and help give you inspiration. And when you come up to me and say that I did that to you, like in real life in a whole other state, you really couldn't tell me anything the rest of the day. Before we get into the rest of the video, super curious, have you ever been to Maryland or even DC or even New York? If so, where did you like to visit? Any food recommendations, coffee shops, good lattes? Cause you see your girl had that prioritized on this trip. So I'm super curious if you have been to Maryland or if this is your first time kind of seeing Maryland. And if you have been, I really wanna know places to go, things to check out because I always love to find new things for me and my dad to do while I'm there. opportunities to do all that yeah. so i felt like really lucky about that because i forgot how like i ended up on like the we have like a student grant board mm -hmm. and so like it was like my job to help like sift through all the different like activities all the clubs wanted to go on and like decide who to give money to and i was like that's such a random like, crazy cool college experience to say <laughs> you did like like yes like we had to decide what was going to bring value to our campus so yeah i did not know i graduated until your grandfather handed me my diploma. That's... <laughs> that's, how, that's how clueless I was. So on Easter Sunday, we usually do go to service, but since COVID, my dad's pastor actually started doing church at home, but he was on vacation this year in a completely different state. So this is the first year I would say in a long time. I actually haven't been to a service on Easter. Instead, I decided to find a really cute coffee shop to go sit down and hang out in with my dad. And we ended up in Federal Hill, which was such a cute upcoming area in Cross Street Market at Ceremony Coffee. This place was so adorable. And the latte options, literally I got one of every one of their fancy overpriced lattes. I had to do it and they were all delicious. It was ridiculous. Like that very rarely happens in my opinion. So I really, really loved the coffee there. I will say I wish they had an actual breakfast option. But even in Detroit, I find that if I find good coffee, they probably don't have a good like breakfast sandwich. And if I find a good breakfast sandwich, their coffee probably isn't good. Is this lavender mocha? mocha? No, so there's um, cherry in there, cherry. in the matcha, yeah. Cherry matcha. <laughs> you're just like, you're contemplating life, please. It's okay, like, mm, mm. So what I love about moments like this is that I really get to talk to my dad and my dad really imparted a lot of wisdom. I'm making a lot of big life decisions right now. And he always gives me a fresh perspective and really encourages me in, in ways that I'm always surprised by. I think, I think a lot of us are scared to come to our parents with some things because we're afraid of how they're going to react and how they're going to take things. But when I tell you, like, my dad is my grounding rock and he just always, always, always kind of seems to have the right thing to say, even if it feels patronizing. But 
I really love that conversation with him. So inspired and so ready for this like next step and next chapter in my life. It was absolutely everything that I needed. We then headed back to his house and I just spent time editing my video. If you haven't seen my last video with my hair care routine, go ahead and check that out, girls, because the curls is popping and juicy. And I think I unlocked the cheat code. I really do. Then for dinner, we went to a nice restaurant called Copper Grill. They had live music. They have a pian they had live music, a piano player who was killing it on the keys, by the way. And it was me, my dad, and his wife. And it was really, really fun. We got to talk about some very interesting things, including what your first criminal offense was. Not anything that you got caught by the cops by, but just like what was the first illegal thing you like did as a kid? Like was it stealing or was it graffiti, right? And I thought it was really, really fun to kind of learn that about my dad and about his wife. So I just, like I said, I always find myself in such fun conversations around my dad. And this was one of them. That is it, spending time with me, the long weekend, how I like to hang out with my dad. So hopefully not only did you get to see Maryland, which is a really cool place, but you got some good outfit inspiration because again, this is something that's a little bit more casual, me going to visit family. Plus, plus I do feel like city vacations, I do tend to treat those a little bit differently with how I pack and how I pick pieces and the outfits I'm gonna wear versus a tropical vacation or a cold weather vacation. Am I the only one or like, do you feel like no matter what kind of the vacation, you're just gonna be extra and go a little above and beyond or be super casual? Actually, how do you feel like you dress for vacation? Do you feel like you have a whole special separate wardrobe that is just for vacations? Do you feel like you're still casual and you? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you again for watching all the way through. I will try in the future to include more sound bites of the things we are talking about, especially with my dad, because honestly, I always leave there with gems and just a new perspective. And I really would love to share that with you guys. So. So I am going to do better at that. That is my mission moving into sharing more vlogs. But stay tuned. I have tons of exciting content coming at you from spring brunch outfits. That is always a favorite. And I love brunch and I love getting dressed up for brunch. And a really huge announcement. Like, I'm so excited to share, but I cannot share it just yet. So there's a really huge announcement that I'm going to drop on y'all next week. So I'm just saying, stay tuned. With that, seriously, thank you for watching all the way until the end. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye. Thank you.